You're born like your father. You're born looking like your father. And you die looking like your decisions. This is a very philosophical statement. It's something that forces you to think a little deeper. See, a lot of you, you were born and you looked exactly like your father. And if you didn't have a father figure, you still look like him, but you didn't act like him because you didn't have a father figure around you. But let's say you did have a father figure around you. Your entire life was based around being the image that your father showed you, the image that your father was. As you get older, as you build yourself, you start to actually shift and you start to look like your decisions, which could surpass your father. The image that you are building through your decisions can surpass your father, but the image that you're building can also help you decline or make you decline into a place that's lower than your father, into a failure. And you die by the decisions you make in life. That's why it's very important to, to, to develop critical thinking. It's important to be able to make better decisions, make decisions that are actually going to help you, benefit you. If you do not do this, it will be extremely hard for you to actually live the life that you want to live. You have ultimate freedom as a man to build yourself into whatever character you decide to be. That is why your decisions are more important than how you look or, or how you resemble your father. Your father is somebody who is going to help you make better decisions. The ultimate, the ultimate purpose of your father is to help you be better than he was. And if he didn't do that, it is your job to find ways to be better than him. Maybe it's you need to be better financially. Maybe you need to be able to level up financially more than your father did. Maybe it's you need to make better decisions with women more than your father did. Maybe your father has multiple baby mamas or, or they, they just weren't living the life that made sense for where you want to go. It is your job to make those decisions. It's your job to defeat the vices that your father had. Right? It's your job to almost compete with your father to become a better version of him, which then ultimately makes you a better version of yourself. And this statement of bo being born looking like your father and dying by your decisions is something that you need to meditate on every day. Because every decision you make, every minute of the day that you make a decision can alter your life completely. It can completely skyrocket your life or it can completely decline your life. But it all depends on these decisions that you're making. Because your father gave you the foundations, or he should have given you the foundations. If he didn't give you the foundations, it's your job to go find those foundations. It's your job to go find these new things, right? It's your job to go build these new foundations for yourself that you will then pass down to your children. It's your job to be a better father than your father was to your kid, to your son, to your daughter. You need to be able to build that up because once you recognize that a lot of the negative traits that your father had, you are actually inheriting those traits subconsciously, you can start to be aware and shift that to shift your identity and become a better person. So that when you die, you are looking like the decisions you made, which were really good decisions. You are, you are a more evolved man than your father was, who you were born to look like, who you were born to emulate. Every man is born to emulate his father. There are genetic traits that you have that are passed down from your father that can be mentally genetic, they can be physically genetic, whatever that looks like. If your father was out of shape, you're more likely to be out of shape, right? In terms of you're more likely to inherit those physical traits. It is going to be by your decisions of eating clean, of going to the gym, of actually training like a savage to then transform your body, which will then transform your genetics for the next child. Do I have scientific evi evidence on this? Honestly, no, but I'm sure there's, there's, there's evidence out there. But I have seen this many times where the, the son takes on the father, right? They look up to their father. It is okay to look up to your father and his positive traits, but you also need to be aware of the negative traits so you don't inherit those things because you, you will just innately look up to this figure. So your father needs to give you a strong foundation of where you're currently at. Analyze who your father was. If you don't know your father, ask people in your family. Ask them to describe your father. You will either get a positive response or you'll get a negative response. That will tell you what your, what your pre, predetermined um, mindset, your predetermined inception of yourself will be. You're an inception of your father, right? You're a deviation. You are a derivative of your father. So you need to start to analyze this stuff because it will help you learn yourself better. It will help you learn why you have certain vices. Maybe your father suffered with porn. 
and you need to then break that break that 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 genetic chain that ancestral chain now we're speaking into spirituality right because spirituality a lot of the the traits the DNA traits that they have, the mental traits that they have will be passed down to you. A lot of the traumas that they have will be passed down to you spiritually, and it will be your job to combat that, to do better than he did. You always want to level up greater than your father was in any area of life that he struggled in. That's the caveat. It's not about competing about who's better and who's not. It's giving you the motivation. It's giving you the fuel to be able to get into life and dominate your life and make your life better than what your father put you on to. My father was an amazing father. I had my father figure my whole life. That probably is the reason why I am the man I am today. That's the reason why I embody certain masculine traits or people say I embody masculine traits and I don't even notice it. It's almost unconscious to me because I grew up with a very masculine father, right? I grew up with very masculine teachings, with biblical principles, right? That allowed for me to have the foundation to figure out my life. But there were shortcomings that my father had, shortcomings financially, right? Shortcomings from the perspective of, of mentally that I can now conquer because I'm aware that my father had that. So I, when I die, I will be a more evolved version of him and my child will now have a more evolved foundation. See, you're living to be able to pass down the greatest genetic traits to your child, to your son. Your son needs to have an advantage in this life and you need to build that advantage by building your life now. Always think about lineage, always think about dynasty, always think about what you're passing down financially, mentally, emotionally, um, physically. Always maximize those traits because all of the decisions you make to maximize those traits will benefit the next lineage. They'll benefit the next generation. And that is a deeper topic that I can get into on another video, but you need to understand that you have to make really good decisions in this life. You will have points where you make bad decisions. Everybody does this. Everybody has points where they make bad decisions, but where you make the good decisions is where your life is going to change. As you increase the amount of good, precise decisions that you make for yourself, that is when your life will transform. That is when you will start to look like your decisions and not like your father. The goal is not to look like your father. The goal is to look like an evolved version of your father. The goal is to look like an evolved version because that will be the new you. That will be what you pass down. And now your son will have a better foundation to then build off of. So all of your lineage is continuously improving as you, as you get older, as you, as you pass things down, as you pass down lessons. So you need to understand that living like your, fa or living like your father currently is doing you a disservice because you can surpass where, what he's done by seeing the weaknesses that he had and understanding that those could potentially be your weakness. They can also potentially be your strength. So this is a very important thing to meditate on because once you start to really internalize this, you will start to evolve faster. You will start to see your foundation and grow on that foundation faster. The problem with most men today, and you might be in the same situation. They never grew up with a father, so they don't even know what their father struggled with. They don't know what their father um, dominated. They don't know what their father did really well, succeeded in. And they don't know where their point of reference is in relation to their foundation of life. But the benefit is you have control to be able to change the entire scope of your genetic line. You can literally destroy all of the negatives in your genetic line, the traumas that they went through, right? I'm Haitian American, right? I'm, I'm Haitian, I, I'm of Haitian descent. I understand that my ancestors went through a lot when it came to the Haitian Revolution. They were tormented a lot. There's a lot of traumas that are passing down that I need to be able to break to then become the best version of myself. There's financial traumas. There are financial mental blockages, DNA, that has been passed down to me to keep me from being financially free. That is one point that I'm hammering home for myself right now, is being financially free, breaking out of those chains, breaking out of those genetic chains, so that I can build a new lineage that is better off than my previous lineage. You are the person that's going to change your family lineage. You are a chosen person. That is a good mental model to have. Whether or not it is true, it is the best mental model because it will help you improve. It will give you the inspiration. It will give you the, 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 the motivation to continue forward, to continue improving, to continue to be the best version of yourself. 
So take this and learn it, internalize it, and actually change your life day in, day out with the decisions that you make. Critically analyze every decision that you make, decisions by the minute, decisions by the second, and improve your decision-making process through trial and error. Learn what's good, learn what's bad for your life. Take the lessons from people like myself, from other people on YouTube that are educating you on different things, and apply them into your life so that you can become the best man that you can for your children. Right? That's one thing your father probably didn't think about. What are these traits that I'm going to pass down to my kid? Most fathers live in a selfish place. They live all for themselves. Live for your lineage. Live for your dynasty. Do well. Succeed for your dynasty because they depend on it. You want to break that ancestral chain. And all it takes is awareness of the image of your father and who you want to die as. Meditate on your death. Meditate on the fact that when, when you're on your deathbed, what would you have wanted to accomplish in this life? When I'm on my deathbed, I want to have literally impacted hundreds of millions of men to change their lives and become the best versions of themselves. Financially, so teaching them financial freedom, my vehicle for that is personal branding because I believe that is the ultimate vehicle of financial freedom and it will be in the next five to 10 years because life will change, AI will start to take over, you need to be unique, you need to be authentic. People will start to wanna to buy from people and people already buy from people. So I wanna be able to make that happen for most men, right? Again, link is in the description if you're interested in doing that and if you're interested in financial freedom or building your business. Be a value creator though, don't be an entertainer. Actually have something to offer to people, right? Also, tap in, newsletter. My consciousness is downloaded into your inbox. So you're able to understand how I think. You're able to apply lessons that I've had in life so that you can improve. Am I a father figure to you? No, I shouldn't be. I should be a peer that may be a few steps ahead of you, right? Because of the life experiences that I've had already as a 27-year-old. It's, it's, it's insane. I feel like I'm like 80 years old with the stuff that I know. And I'm only just getting started with the learning process. I'm, I'm just getting started educating myself on different things. But find those people on the internet that you can actually learn from and change your genetic chain and change your DNA and change your identity to become a better person so that when you are on your deathbed, you are very pleased with the impact that you made in this world. Our entire purpose as a man is to make the greatest impact on this world possible. And maybe the people, the fathers before you didn't think about it like that, but that's where you make the change. It is up to you to make the change. Conquer the world, conquer your life, conquer yourself. Like, comment, subscribe if you thought this was motivational, inspirational, valuable to you, gave you a different perspective. Share with a friend who needs this, and I'll catch you on the next video.